Hello friends. This video I am specially making for those people who very recently have been experiencing the spiritual awakening. And few of uh, those people are not understanding what spiritual awakening is all about. Some people, when they get the symptoms which I described in one of my videos, they are completely lost. They write to me, they put a comment, they even call upon me and they want to know that why such things are happening with us. See, I want to uh, make few things very clear with you all. If there is a spiritual awakening, first of all, please remove that seed in your mind that spiritual awakening is taking you away from your job, your career, your studies, your family, your, your loved ones. It is not doing so. There, are, there, there is no reason for you to panic or be fearful about it because I think you should feel blessed that out of so many people, lakhs and crores of people, you are the one who was the chosen one. The divine has chosen you. And believe me, off lately, in the last, I would say, five to six years only, people have been experiencing all these energies. Earlier, I don't think so. There were many who would be interested in spiritualism, meditation. Today, if you go on YouTube or you go on any other uh, site, you will see so many people talking about it. It simply means that there is an awareness. But then what happens? My experience is my interaction with those people who have just recently developed the liking or uh, they are getting into the spiritualism. Either they are going too rapid, too fast. And in that race, they feel there is a, there is a point, there is a destination where they are supposed to reach. No. You have to, you don't have to speed up. You don't have to follow, uh, you know, different channels and uh, different things. Just follow one person. It could be anyone. Fine. Now, when I, talk, when I talk to them that, you know, uh, meditation, like I do meditation, I do the healing meditation. People want to know, uh, how do you do meditation? I said, it's my pattern. It's my way of doing it. I don't have a, I have a set rule, but that rule has been, that is my, my pattern. I have invented it. I have to ground myself. I have to close my eyes. I have to do the belly breathing. I have to uh, call for my angels. I have to do the mantras that I do. And uh, but even if you spare five minutes, believe me, not even five minutes, close your eyes and only concentrate on your breathing. That's more than enough. We are not here to become any saint or any Baba or any. Uh, no, we are not doing that. Secondly, do not connect spiritualism with religion at all. Spiritualism takes you towards, it takes you within. You don't have desire for the outer uh, material world. You start appreciating nature. You start knowing what is the, uh, you know, you start loving animals. You will see that when you're walking on the street, the animals, are, uh, the dogs are following you. The cat comes to you. You see that people around you start talking about you that uh, you have changed. Now, this change may even take few of your friends away also because they are into a different tangent and you are different today. So they may not merge with you. They may not resonate with you. The energies are not there. So you will start... Uh, discording from them, distancing from them and those people who understand 
the language and now this language is no language per se this is you get connected to people just by the pure vibes the frequencies and i'll give you an example <clears throat> suppose there is a word it is there in the dictionary but you must have never heard of that word and possibly I, I, there may be people who knows the entire uh, dictionary they have eaten it up but there are even today there are so many words i wouldn't know about it but the moment i come to know the word suppose it is uh, any word which you have never heard and you ask the person are you just spoke about this word what it means or you go back home and you google search and you find out that this is the word have you ever realized the moment you find the meaning of that word okay this is what it means you will see all by all of a sudden in the coming next few days that words that word will come into play in front of you you will see are there is a board that word is written how come i have not, not seen this word that vocabulary i have not seen it similarly when you are awakened from inside you will start getting automatically connected bumping into the people that you are supposed to but sometime like the other day somebody called me that you know earlier i used to get the sign i used to get up at 3 o'clock in the morning then uh, there used to be other symptoms where spiritual awakening was there i could feel the energies around me but now it is gone so is is that process stopped no it has not stopped but there is always a recess there is always a interval there is always a gap and the gap is given to you so that your body get accustomed to the energies if you take all the energies at one time i'm telling you you'll not be able to handle yourself that is why that sabbatical will come that gap will come that that space is required for you so go slow you are not reaching anywhere as i told you there's no destination that i have to finish my studies and give an examination or i have to get a diploma or a degree no there's no destination as such you are spiritually growing you're growing and if you were not very comfortable you're not happy about it though you were chosen to to be in the uh, on this path i'm repeating you have the option of stopping all these activities but then i have realized few people go overboard they start talking uh on a very different level i don't want you to do that please understand that there are some energies around you which you will not be able to and they are not into the linear form their languages are different their messages will be different they will give you messages through i told you repetitive numbers finding coins on the on the street uh, all of a sudden uh, you will see a feather on the street or at home uh, you will find the feather at a place where it is almost impossible to find first of all number 2 you will uh, like i told you about the coin the feather the repetitive numbers there are other messages also that uh, will come to you in a very different form you should be able to take that message now and it should become your habit that every time a thing happens in your life i'll give you an example just yesterday day before yesterday sorry i was walking down that staircase and simultaneously at the same time i was trying to text someone and in that in that particular uh, 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 point of time i skipped a step that means i, I was in a rhythm i was climbing down and i skipped that step and i i fell down and i 
I hurt my leg. I'm talking about the habit now. You know what happened? Normally what will happen? Uh, it used to happen to me. If I would have uh, had a fall or something like that, I would say, oh my God, what happened? What was do? I was surprised to, uh, like, you know, I was so surprised that, you know, immediately I got up and I said, thank you, angels. I don't know how it came from my thing, but look where, where your angels have taken you. I thank my angel that this could have been a major accident and it has come down to a level where I just had a trip, not even a fall. It's my leg is still paining, but that's fine. You must know how to show gratitude for what didn't happen as a major accident rather than complaining that you had an accident. So spiritualism is making you reach that level and that level uh, that uh, level is not going to come in three days, three months, six months time. It's a very gradual and a long process. Second thing, very important. You know the story of Arjuna when he was supposed to aim at the fish. Even today people say you should always have that luxury and you should have that focus in your uh, life. I agree, completely agree. But sometimes this focus works very adverse with you. For example, if you are too focused on something that you want to achieve or you are eagerly waiting for someone and your, your whole body, mind and soul is into that uh, thing that it should take place, you will see that thing will be deferred. It will get delayed more and more and more. And the moment your mind will say, let go, I don't want it. And you'll see you will achieve that. It's like you're waiting on, on the street. You must have realized, at, at least it, it's an experience with me many a times, that if I'm waiting for something, uh, maybe uh, I have an appointment and I'm waiting for someone and I'm actually very desperate because it's already been 15 minutes late and the person's not appearing. And I st start looking at, okay, that must be the auto he must be coming, or that must be the car he must be coming, or that is the train which will bring him and all of a sudden, and all this time he never appeared, but all of a sudden I received a call and my mind is diverted towards this call and I'm answering and I see the person is appearing. That means all the time when I was focusing at that particular thing, it was not happening. Same thing. I did this with one of the, uh, uh, one of the girl who was married and didn't have a child for three or four years. I and she was visiting every temple, doing every remedy and every puja and everything. And I told her, for some time, tell your mind, let go. That if, if I'm not getting pregnant, fine. It's okay with me. I said, just try it. Believe me, in three months time, she got pregnant. So when you are too focused on something, let it be anything that you want in life. You have to you have to give an intent and you should be focused, no doubt about it. But then come when you when you are completely into it, I don't know how to explain to you. Sometimes we uh, we are so focused on something that you know instead of you achieving it, it, it normally gets very delayed in life. So friends, do not go very rapidly in uh, the spiritual growth. You have enough time. There is no hurry. You can continue with your job, your career, your studies, your whatever you're doing in life. Nothing is will be taken away from you. You can eat whatever you want. You drink whatever you want. It is not a religious activity. There's nothing to that. Uh, spiritualism is only on Monday and Tuesday and Thursday and Friday and Saturday and Sunday. Nothing of that sort. It's a free will. It's a free. It's a bonus, a gift and a tool from the divine. Take it or decline it completely. It's your choice. There is, there is nothing that divine wants to give it to you on a gunpoint. So if you are the chosen one, feel that you are blessed. 
use the opportunity take the opportunity but go slow it's my request go slow thank you so much for watching do share this video to people who are spiritually awakened